All right, welcome back. It's time for our next episode where we are going into Soros Furnace right there. You can see on our map. Uh, we finished last episode the first mission or the first quest of our or sub quest, I guess, where we pretended to be we let ourselves become slaves of the Stone Summit in order to recon the all the ins and outs of the Soros Furnace. And next we're going to check out Kilroy Stoneskin, which is a callback to Leroy Jenkins, if anyone remembers that video from, from a while. He did a little homage to him uh, with this character, Kilroy Stoneskin. Uh, Stonekin. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to jump into that. I'm going to keep using the Illusionary Weapon Rebuild. I think it was a lot of fun. I think it's very effective. And I want to see how effective it is when we're getting into the real Soros Furnace content. So let's go. We're going to be taking the similar route, but instead of talking to... Um, what's his name? Uh, Galen Trask. We're going to be going with Kilroy... Stonekin. Every every quest that you take, uh, it changes the inside of of the um, Soros Furnace. Actually, before I cast Blackout, I should probably equip my Illusionary Weaponry or enchant myself with Illusionary Weaponry. That was a bad move. Basically, the idea of this is. I cast Illusionary Weaponry, I put on Flurry, and then I just black out one enemy and burst them down while they kind of helpless. Some construction going on outside. I hope it's not being, being picked up on the mic. I don't think it is. Uh, Kilroy Stone. Oh, do we have to talk to Galen Trask every time? I don't think so. I think Kilroy is over. Where is he at? The um, the little green star is telling me to go to go talk to Galen again, but we actually need to talk to Kilroy. I'm not sure what's up with that. Hoping I can get a view of the other NPCs around here. I mean, these other skills are pretty useful in certain situations, but generally, I'm I'm just trying to get as much DPS as possible. I mean, yeah, I do about like 80 damage per second. Cannot be unblockable. Cannot be defended against. There is no defense. Oh, this is High Priest this way. I think... I think Kilroy is the other way, no? I should memorize these locations. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Well, we don't have to do it in order. Let's just do priest High Priest Alcar's mission first. Since we're already over here. What does he... Needs to go to his temple. Yeah, we also learned that Soros Furnace was kind of a sacred place for the Deldramar. And these... These Stone Summit losers... They, uh, moved in. Uh, I should target this master first. Sometimes that like rapidly changing uh, enemies like that. Like he he cast the Doyok master casted all of his uh, protection skills on the enemy we were attacking, the beast master we were attacking. So after they cast their 
protection spells, you can quickly switch targets and then they don't really have anything left to use on someone else. That's a, a good counter for protection, protection monks. Oh. Blackout is cool too because if I cast it on an enemy while they're channeling a skill, it lets them continue to channel it. However, at the end of the channeling, it fails because they're not allowed to cast spells. So it's a it's a really good way to waste a lot of time, a lot of the enemy's time. stuck on that NPC here. So these missions we're about to do are going to be significantly harder than the one that we did yesterday. So this is where we'll really be able to test if this is going to be possible or not with just one player plus henchmen. I hope I can make it possible. You know, it would be nice to make a video showing doing this elite content with just henchmen. But if it's not going our way, um, there's going to be no shame in just postponing this series and finishing at a later date. I'm not, I'm not against doing that. Let's just talk to Galen. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and fight this Gorel. He drops a green weapon for us. That's the name. Oh, so we can repeat. Yeah, we can repeat the quest as many times as we want, it looks like. He was just giving us the option to become slaves again. Or maybe it's not completing the quest again, but it's... Um... Oh. oh, I didn't get it off in time. Maybe it's not completing the quest again, but it's uh, just re-entering the instance. With that... Uh quest activated good to know in case you missed out on anything like like the sub quest for crack flame whip nah we're not gonna be that lucky it's really tough to get a green item to drop whenever you have a whole team of NPC Entrance. But there are a lot of green items, so there's always a possibility. High Priest Alcar. Let's see how difficult this mission is. So far so good though, right? Alright, Alcar, what do you need us to do? Stone Summoner... Dangerously close to uncovering the Tome of the Rubicon. Inside is the true name of the Great Destroyer, the Bane of the Living and Nemesis of the Great Dwarf himself. Oh, this is a uh, for foreshadowing of the Eye of the North, isn't it? The seals that bind the book are dispelled and the true name spoken. Well, let's just say there's no worse thing that can happen in the world. Okay. I could use your help gaining entry to Soros Furnace. Yeah, so this is a this is a significantly huge uh, experience. The last mission we did was two thousand experience, I think. This is eight thousand. So that's giving us some idea of how difficult it's gonna be. But I think if we just aggro intelligently, it'd be okay. Make some choke points here. 
Oh, is he just running in? <laughs> no. <laughs> you loser. And they interrupted my illusionary weaponry. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to cast, like, Empathetic Visage. Luckily, my henchmen are really strong. Keep Arcane Conundrum on them. Slow them down a little bit. Okay. I also need to make sure I keep Illusion of Weakness on at all times. Oh, he, he really just runs in. Do we need to keep him alive? What happens if he dies? Let's use our sword, because that's what we need to use. Gosh, he has no sense of tactics or spells. To ensure the name was unspeakable to all but the great dwarves, the name was sealed within the Rubicon. There are a few left with the knowledge and power to open this tome. Is he going to keep running ahead? Yep, he is. Priest of Sorrows is the monk. Wow, bursting down like crazy. Against the melee enemies running up against me, running up to us, I could cast Ethereal Burden first also. Might be a nice way to slow them down. Ah, uh, he disenchanted my illusionary weaponry. Yeah, so that's what... This is really weak against that. Could probably brought, uh, like, fan Phantasm or something as a way of dealing damage in case that happens again. Like, without Illusionary Weapon, we do one damage. That's definitely a weakness of the build. If I recast Illusion of Weakness, as a Yeah, it doesn't cover Illusionary Weaponry. Hmm. I'm coming, buddy. I think I remember this. I think this is like a... We have to defend an area while simultaneously... Going... Forward. This might be impossible with Hinchman, actually. We might need heroes for this. Because I think it requires the party to split up. Hold up there, buddy. What do we need to do? We need to... Defend this spot or something? Great Destroyer is reputed to be everything that Great Dwarf is not. Evil, malicious, greedy, to the core. If the hero font reads the Great Destroyer's name, he will summon upon this world the most malignant creature ever seen by mortal eyes. We must hurry that hero font will not take long to dispel the enchantments protecting Oh. Yeah. Oh, he interrupted. Dang it. I can still make it annoying for them by... I can always switch to my illusion scepter whenever that happens. 
Oh, he interrupted again. Alright, I should just switch to Illusion Scepter and auto attack. They have enchantment removal and interrupts. Where's the priest going now? Does he just hang out there? He follow us now. Oh, this is the hero font. Dang, he shattered my enchantment. Okay, got the tome. Now we gotta go back here. Return the tome of the Rubicon, Rubicon to the ancient ruins. Drop it where High Priest Alcor waits. And then we gotta defend him, I'm pretty sure. You must bury the Great Destroyer's true name. The best way to do that is to consecrate the old temple and bring it down atop the tome. Some of you should stay behind just in case. Yeah, we're supposed to split up. Select four shards of Balthazate crystal and place them near the High Priest Alcar. Four shards remaining. Yeah, this is going to be impossible, isn't it? I can go alone, I guess. Is there any way to sneak past here? Oh, I'm under attack. I can like run or something. Nope, I just got interrupted. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Maybe they can take out this team. I'm alive. Oh, the patrols are coming in now. Yeah, he's under attack. This is a bummer. All right, well, we learned something today. We lost Devona and Menlo. shards at? I didn't see any shards. We gotta get them from fighting the enemies or something? I don't think I'm gonna be able to go like back and forth like this. Maybe. Maybe I can like whittle down this team here. I just gotta do like small group at a time. 
I gotta keep an eye on his health, though. It is possible to make it back to him. Well, that's good. He's a monk, so he can heal himself. Crippling is crippling. Got my eye on Priest Alcar. That's Shaman. Which is the Shaman? Oh, so many spike traps. Okay, there's one crystal. Go, 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 go. Maybe we can do this. Where's that staff I got? Not good. Just in time. Look at that. Oh, we got one shot or three shards remaining. Okay. I just dropped them at him. Is that right? You have three shards. Okay. Where's the next one? The next one is over there. Do I backtrack? Yeah, I think I backtrack. Oh, are they going to get progressively farther away? I hope not. Oh, thought he was coming. Yeah, it's up here. The blast rock. That's who got has the crystals. We have a short time frame. Shaman we need to take out first. Oh, he's under attack. Go, 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 go. Can we make it? Come on, buddy, heal yourself. No, 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 no. You can make it. That was close. Oh my gosh. This is not the way you're supposed to do it, but luckily I brought some running skills. Okay, we just took out a patrol. Should be able to make it up and at least take out a few of these guys again. So it is possible to make it back. We took the shaman out this time, last time, so we should be able to take the remaining guys out now. Holy cow.
you guys. Kite them back. Try and take down a few of them, but you need to come back here ASAP. Alright, that should be good enough. Yep, just in time. Okay, buddy, I'm here. Empathetic Visage is really good to put on the priest, too. Removes all their adrenaline and energy. I need to remember that. I think we accidentally brought, like... Really good skills for this. Yeah. No chance of you getting a resurrection there. Okay. Two more left. Where do we need to go now? Even farther away. Let's wait for the next patrol to give us as much time as possible. I think we have like maybe two or three minutes every patrol or maybe hey i don't think it's five minutes Ooh, this is a stressful stressful one not the right time to dance dunham Where are they, are they coming? Hmm, they're not coming. They only come maybe whenever I'm out. So slowly. Pretty sure as soon as I start a battle, they're gonna he's gonna get attacked. There's the blast rock. The burst damage from our team is really, really good. I guess we just gotta go. down these guys and kite them back a little bit well still not under attack Keeping my eye over there. I don't even really need any skills. My 
my team can really take them out by themselves. Alright. Stroll here. Take them out. Maybe the patrols only come when you're a certain distance away from the priest. I'm really confused why none of them are coming, actually. Let's try... I can aggro them from here. Is it possible? I don't think so. I have to go all the way around here. Could be in trouble this time. Huge. Huge group. I'm kite them back. Yeah, I don't want to have to fight all of them. Back a little. Oh, he's under attack again. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sympathetic massage. Nice. Oh, no, we lost. Oh, failed. Ah. Oh. 